So what's going on guys? Uh, just woke up a few minutes ago. It's kind of late. Uh, it's like 11, let's see, what time is it? I don't know. It's 11 like 37, something like that. About to go to a meeting for my uh, family's business. We got some new uh, accounts and stuff to get. So uh, this is the attire. Just dressed in some, you know, halfway decent clothes. Uh, we're gonna go get some lunch first. I'll try to carry you with us. We got a leg day today, so uh, stay tuned for that. And besides that, I'm uh, just gonna kind of walk you through the day in the life of uh, Trey Chapman. So stay tuned, guys. Remember all the people how they said I wouldn't make it. I just wanna show you that I'm here and I'ma take it. Recently, I feel like I've been having revelations. All I need is God and I'm guys uh just got done eating and i'm uh, about to go in here and best buy and kind of see if i can find me a new tripod or something to put my iphone on while i'm at the gym because sometimes my wife's not with me she's at work and i just need something to kind of get the film for you guys and do my commentary so i'm gonna go ahead and check it out and uh maybe i can bring you with me Well, anyway, we're out of Best Buy. Didn't really come up with anything. Of course, my store never has anything, but uh, we're gonna go home and uh, have a, a pre-workout meal of some kind, get our pre-workout in us, and uh, we're gonna head to the gym, get a, a leg day in. So I'll try to get as much as I can. I don't know how I'm gonna prop the camera up or anything. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage for you because I got some new, I got the new Ray-Ban knee sleeves in yesterday. So I'm really anxious to use them along with my Enzer belt and see kind of how the combo goes. So. Uh, Stay tuned guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next clip. What's up guys? So we got suited up for the gym. We're back at home now. About to get that pre-workout in us and sip on it all the way to the gym. But uh, what we got on is just the regular hoodie I always wear. You see in all my videos, I just get warmed up with it. I love to have it, you know, during my warm up and all that. Uh, eventually I take it off. And then I got the gym shark on again. I'm loving these pants, man. Uh, got some more coming in the mail, so when I get those, I'll do a review on them, what I think of the rest of the pants, different things like that, so stay tuned for that. And uh, just the Chuck Taylors, so uh, yeah, that's the gym attire. Uh, when I get to the gym, uh, I'll holler at you when I get there. Thing, guys, I forgot to mention, I got the Ray-Ban knee sleeves in uh, yesterday, so I'm really excited to use those and check those out. I'll let you know what I think. Uh, in one of the uh, upcoming videos, but I'm gonna try them out for a couple leg workouts and I'll let you know how I feel about them. So uh, I know you've seen, you know, probably Chris Jones and Christian Guzman and they probably told you they like them. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be great, but I'm just gonna tell you, you know, my take on them, what I think about them. So uh, stay tuned, I'll get with you when I get to the What's going gym. on guys, we just got to the gym. Just finishing up the pre-workout here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get my depth down today and kind of, you know, work on my form and everything. So I'm gonna try to get a few sets. I'm not sure how it's gonna work today because my camera died, my other camera, and this one I can't find a tripod or anything to use for it or a mount or anything. So I'm gonna try to set it up on something, do something to get a couple sets for you guys. But besides that, we're just, uh, yeah, I'll probably show you when I get done and go get a uh, post-workout meal. I may just go get a protein shake and wait for dinner, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at, guys. So uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So what's going on, YouTube? This is my leg session. Unfortunately, uh, on the 225, the depth was not there, but this is 185. I did like three sets of 185 and like a couple of 225s, and of course my warm-up. But uh, here you can see on the 225, I, I hit it pretty good. I mean, I can probably go a tad lower, but I'm very confident with that. I'm rebuilding very nicely. Uh, it's going up. Like I said, two weeks ago, I couldn't get but a 25 or a 35 up, so I'm very happy with that. This 225, you'll see a back shot from it, and uh, it's not too great. So... Anyways, we've, we've progressed a little bit. Um, I think I got five or six here. I can't remember. I kind of stumbled over a little bit. I had to get my, I wanted to get a good uh, stance there. Um, the Ray-Ban knee sleeves really worked out very well. I really like them. They kind of, they kept my, my knees warm. And of course, the Enzer belt, you know, is great. So that was pretty good rep right there. But um, yeah, overall, good workout, good burn in the legs. Uh, I'm happy with my progress. Um, cutting up very well, um, sticking to my macros and doing everything. But I didn't get a lot of footage, just a few clips of everything. Uh, I did leg extensions and leg curls and calf raises you didn't see in the video. But uh, 
this is it. Uh, if you have uh, any questions or you need any nutritional info, you need any help with tracking your macros or anything like that, or any uh, you know weightlifting tips or anything like that, be sure to email me at uh, thirdchat25 at AOL.com. And if you hadn't, guys, please subscribe to my channel. But anyways, uh, I'm going to let you finish this up, and please enjoy the rest of the video. So here it is guys, here's the post-workout meal. We got a Coke uh, Zero Cherry with a, a rice cake and that uh, cream cheese spread I showed you, the fat-free kind, with MTS Whey, one scoop. Uh, I'll put the macros on the screen. Um, another thing, I've been working on that squat, as you just seen in the clips, guys, and I don't know, my form's still not where I want it to be as far as the depth and everything. Uh, the 185 is getting a lot easier to get the depth with, but the 225 I'm still not happy with, so don't judge me by that. I had that back injury, as I told you, and uh, it's just been, you know, it's been really hard to rebuild back and everything. So uh, just stick with me, guys, and uh, kind of watch me as I progress and everything. I want to cut, like I said, uh, reduce my calories down to about 2,000. I think the last couple weeks I've been around 24, 2,300, so try to get that deficit in and lose them a couple pounds a week that I want to I want to lose that's my little window I want to lose about two pounds a week I don't want to go too fast guys because you know if you if you try to lose five six pounds a week on a cut then yeah it's not going to end up very well so that's a very good window to stick by is uh, like two pounds a week something like that so uh, yeah just you want to go low and slow and uh, conserve all that mass that you've worked so hard for so uh, like I said just stick with me and uh, yeah just keep watching my videos and you, you can watch me as I progress guys so thank you for watching if uh, I don't get to talk to you guys again uh, we'll see you in the next one what's up my people we're about to make some um, chili and here are just a few few of the ingredients we have uh, let's see Let's have, we're having uh, ground white turkey, uh, 97.3 lean. We're gonna put uh, this chili mix, Miserous Dash. Didn't even know they had this stuff. Saw it and uh, the macros are 15 calories, zero grams of fat, uh, three gram of carbs, zero protein. And that's one and one fourth teaspoon. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna use the whole thing, I don't know. We're gonna go by the directions on the back of this actually, and it calls for a few of the seasonings I'm putting on the ground turkey. Just some uh, Himalayan pink salt, some um, sea salt, some garlic powder, and some uh, black pepper. So that's what we have right now. I hadn't added everything, just the Himalayan uh, pink salt. I wanted to kind of come to you guys and tell you what I was putting on. So we'll talk to you in a minute. So we got the chili made up in here, and it's uh, simmering for about 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, when we get it up, we will show you what's in the bowl. But yeah, as far as I can tell, guys, on the Miserous Dash Chili Mix is phenomenal. I mean, you don't have the salt, but I mean, you can add the salt back in, you know, so you can control how much salt you have. But, you know, salt doesn't matter as long as you kind of stick with the same thing over and over and over again. You know, you don't want to go too overboard, but salt's not going to hurt you guys. Uh, but, I mean, it's kind of got some kind of chili, like a sweet chili kind of taste. It's very good, but I'll let you know how the chili overall is and uh so yeah when we get it plated up or bowled up in this case uh we'll let you see it guys this guys here's the chili i talked about i was making i tried it before i put it in my bowl it tastes delicious um you should try it and check it out i showed you all the uh all the stuff if i haven't i'll put in the description what all to buy to make it so yeah that's that's everything so uh that's going to conclude this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one